hello everyone welcome to this session so in this video we are going to look at how to install uh, xgraph in ubuntu okay so uh, i already tested this procedure on ubuntu 20 and also uh, it will work on ubuntu 18 okay so i am not sure about ubuntu 16 and ubuntu 22 which is the latest version okay so i have done this and followed this procedure on ubuntu 20. okay so if you are if you are uh, uh, getting any errors or facing any problems in installing xgraph uh, let me know that let me know the errors that you are getting by commenting in the comment section okay comment section which is below the video right and also i will provide this uh, entire pdf and also a website link in the description of the video so you can follow that right so step one is opening the terminal and typing these two commands okay so let's do that so i am on windows 10 right now uh, so i have installed ubuntu app here so you can see the version of ubuntu that i am using is ubuntu 20. so here is ubuntu terminal and the first command is uh, wget and the link to xgraph okay so you can copy paste this and hit enter it will download the software okay so since i have already done i am not doing it and after downloading the software you just have to unzip the file by copying this and pasting it like this okay right so i have done that one also uh, i will show you so to see the list of folders and files at this location you can give the command ls so here is the file that i have downloaded using the wget command that i have shown you just now and after extracting using the tar command that is this second one okay you will get this folder this blue color folder okay so that is step one downloading and unzipping the file and the second step is running xming software so in my previous videos for installing ns2 on windows i told you that you have to download and install xming software okay so i am assuming that you have to already downloaded and installed now you have to just run it so go to search and type xmin so this is the xmin application just run this uh, run this file and here in the system tray you will see the xmin icon so that means it is running okay so that is second step and third step is creating alias for xgraph binary file okay so see this mm. So actually this path might change on your system okay it will not be exactly like this uh, home slash bar like this so let me show you how the path will come so first of all type pwd okay and also type ls right so right now your location is this slash home slash username so my username is teja so i am at this location and at this location in teja folder there is another folder called xgraph 4.38 underscore linux 64 so with this information so let's create an alias alias equal to slash home slash teja that is this location now you will give this folder name mm, xgraph etc etc slash again you will give bin bin folder in that there is a file called xgraph okay now you go back and after alias give a space and write xgraph okay so this is the entire command okay so hit enter so just now you have created an alias for this file okay and the alias name is also xgraph only if you want you can change this name to some abc xyz but let's give it xgraph 
okay so that is the third step creating alias and step four is you have to export the value zero comma uh, zero colon zero into the variable display by giving this command okay so let me do that export display equal to zero colon zero okay so done now you can type the command xgraph and you will see this window so let's see xgraph enter okay so this is the xgraph window okay so what is the use of xgraph means it is used to plot the data if you want to see any graphical kind of representation drawing graphs uh, we will use xgraph okay otherwise there is another software called gnu plot you can use that one also right so this is how you download and install and actually execute or run xgraph okay so i will provide this pdf file and uh, website link in the description so watch out okay so if you like the if you follow this procedure and uh, was able to install the software just click the like button and also comment in the comment section or if you find if you face any problems you can also put them as comments so that's it thank you